Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Grugs here at Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back troops, legionnaires and new recruits. And today I got the Lothar Smaug flipper folder in D2 steel. Pretty badass. Let's get into it. Before we get started, what have you guys and gals got in your pockets? Let me know. Today I'm going to be carrying the smog. Check it out. Veterans Active Military, as always, thank you very much for your service. We appreciate you guys and gals out there. Let's go over some quick specs. We are looking at an overall length of 9 inch, blade length 3.7 inch, blade thickness 0.14 inch. Handle material is G10, blade material is a D2 with an HRC of 60 to 62. Weight in ounces is 7.8 ounce. It is a liner lock. It has G10 scales, which are really nice. It is a drop point according to the specifications, but I kind of think of this as more of a harpoon uh, style blade. It does come with a nice box and a sheath uh, made out of nylon. All right, let's do a quick close up. All right, let's take a quick close up and then I wanna do a just small demonstration of this knife. There is the drop point or the harpoon blade, okay? It is slightly, slightly hollow ground, but it could be a flat grind. I still like it. It's a, it's a decent size uh, blade, 3.7 inch, okay? It has a generous sharpening tool and the flipper also acts as a small guard. Uh, nickel silver bolster, which looks really good on the knife. Beautifully done grooves for your hand okay it does have a seat belt cutter which i don't really you know think that it works too much on seat belts but we're going to test it out on some rope etc it does have a window breaker and it seems pretty functional it looks like it, it'll do the job okay you have some stainless steel liners on the inside they look skeletonized as you can see in the light it is a liner lock and it has a full 100 percent lockup right there as you guys and gals can see all right, G10 scales done very nice. All right, nothing fancy with the post, just a regular post to keep the, you know, the knife from closing in on itself, but very sturdy, very solid. All right, there's the opposite side. Now, unfortunately, this knife only has one type of carry, and that is tip-down carry. However, it does come with this nylon sheath, so this can be removed. You could use the sheath or just keep this in the pocket. I personally don't mind the the tip uh, down carry, um, and I usually carry on the right, but I have learned to carry these type of knives on the left also. Uh, so it's for me, it's not a problem. For some of you though, I wanted to point that out. All in all, this is a nice folding knife, okay? Let's show you the detent, all right. Opens up real nice with authority. I mean, it just clicks open really good. Okay, Let's see, there we go. I know for some people that, that means something to me. I don't know, it doesn't mean much, but that's okay. I wanted to show you guys and gals. Still a pretty decent looking folder. It is a nice size in the hand. Just, uh, just a good looking blade, man. Let's, let's put it to the test, okay? Uh, before I do, real quick, I just wanna mention to the collectors out there, it does come with a very nice box right here, the Lothar box, as you can see. Okay, if you're a collector and you like to keep your knives nice and neat in their boxes for resale value, etc., or whatever, it does come with a decent box. It also comes with a, um, uh, a safety manual and a little cleaning rag in here, so it's pretty nice. All right, troops, let's do a little demonstration. Troops, I've got a whole bunch of different materials over here and uh just gonna test out this knife you know it's a pocket knife it's not a fixed blade but uh you know with experience with lothar i think it can handle all this uh this material but i want to put it to the test so you know let's get started okay let's start off with this tubing take a good close look this is tubing that uh is used for screens you know you just stuff it in where the screen is so it holds the screen in place it's pretty tough stuff you know and this would be good to test out, I thought. This is a, a resource that I have available to me. And, you know, easy stuff. All right, so, again, I know that there's people out there, when they do their job, they have the proper tools, but in case you forgot it, and this is what's in your pocket, 
it's capable of doing it. Now, I am kind of curious about this uh, seatbelt cutter, right? Uh, I know from past experience, it doesn't really cut the seatbelt, and, and I'll show you guys again, but let me see if this will work over here with this. Yeah, yeah, it worked. Not, not the greatest, the knife is better, but it, it worked, you know. So for, for small tasks, I think this uh, quote unquote seatbelt cutter would be okay if you didn't feel like flipping this open in public or something, you know, but you're better off, um, you know, with the knife nice sharp knife and just breeze right through and you get a better cut okay so that's the tubing material let's try out this twist tie okay regular twist tie you guys and gals have seen this many times maybe a warehouse or, or what have you uh, wherever you're working or maybe you just have a package you got your knife in your pocket and okay done easy pop it open Cut this material you're good to go let me put this off to the side next i have some let's see i have some paracord okay you're hiking in the woods you got some paracord you need to i don't know uh, tie something down uh, maybe a hammock or whatever and you know you have your knife with the paracord okay let's do a couple more cuts beautiful Let's do a little doubling up. Oops. Get that in there. Ooh. Anyway, you see that it's capable of cutting the paracord, all right? I'm not going to do a lot, but, you know, it's just an example. Now, let's see. I've got some thin um, nylon, all right? This is kind of thin still very durable you know you won't be able to cut this without some kind of an implement we have our lothar here easy it <laughs> just cut real easy let's see if you needed to cut it in half or something beautifully done nice all right let's move on something different i have let's see what else i have here i have some very thick natural rope okay it's pretty good tough stuff you know you won't be able to break it by hand so we break out the knife easily done all right let's cut it great that worked out well let's see what else i got here all right you know what i have i have a little bit thicker nylon all right it's a little bit thicker than the other one but why not use it, okay? Possible seat belt material. Easy, cuts easy. Now, let's see about this seat belt cutter. Let me try it again. I don't think it's gonna work. I've seen people try and do it on videos and it, and it never worked. So, uh, you know, yeah, it's just not going to do it. It is just not going to do it. Even even with tension, I doubt it's going to do it. You know, again, it's just for small. Actually, you know what? I didn't even do the paracord. Let's let's just test out this paracord over here and see if this will cut the paracord. Nope, not even the paracord. Uh, they got it like you know. Just knife companies in general got to relook at this this seatbelt cutter. You know, it's just I don't know if it's actually functional or not. You know what I mean? You could see slightly that it's digging in, but now I think because the 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 thickness of the handle, you know, you can't go all the way through with it. So that's a, that's kind of a that's kind of a bummer. But that's you know that's the fact here. You know. Let me see if I, if I wiggle it up and down. Nope. Very slight, very slight cutting. You know, you just need, maybe if you had some real thin cord or something like that, you know. But other than that, your best bet is to pop this open and cut. All right. Uh, let's do this one more time. That's easy, cuts real easy. Let's use the tip. 
All right, tip cuts. Not only did it cut, but it cut into this laminated wood over here. So not a bad, not a bad little demonstration for a little bit thicker nylon. Okay, Let's see what else I got here that we could test out. All right, uh, how about some wood? All right, let's test out this wood. Okay, let's see. All right, look at that. Look at those little curls that I'm making. Now I'm just not at a proper angle because of the camera, you know, the way I'm facing the camera. But you definitely can make feather sticks with this if need be. You can see that the curls are happening, so it's definitely sharp. And definitely you could use this for whittling, you know? The grooves, the handle grooves are real positive. It's it's doing a good job, you know. I have a good grip, a good purchase on the knife. So that's not a problem whatsoever. And as you can see, it's starting to make nice fine curls. So you're guaranteed a sharp knife out of the box. And it's D2 steel, so it's really easy to sharpen, you know. Okay, sorry about that interruption. But I did have to answer that phone. I got it on. Uh, I got it on mute now, so it should be good to go. Right, but again, as you can see, it is making fine curls, so it's definitely sharp. And you know, if you maintain your knives properly, troops, you ain't gonna have a problem with D2 steel. So yeah, I mean that's that's really good. Uh, you know, if you wanted to make individual curls, just do some digging. Just dig right in. So, for, you know, outdoor for the woods, this will this will help you out. You know, or it could be a companion to, let's say, uh, a bigger a bigger blade, but definitely doable. All right, cool. Let's see what else we could do. Something I wanted to also uh, show you guys and gals: the spine is pretty decently sharp. Okay. So, you know, if you need to do a little scraping, you have a sharp spine that is capable, you know, maybe you need to take off some bark or you need to round off an arrow shaft a little bit, you know, make something round. You have this capability. Now, I don't have any fatwood. I probably should go buy some fatwood. And, uh, you know, this would have been great for fatwood, just to scrape a little bit of the fatwood. But as you can see, you know, it's not much, but it's doing, it's doing some scraping. And the, and the spine is definitely you know, pretty sharp. Oh yeah, it's taken off my nail material. It's just that this piece of wood is like really hard and dry. Let's see, let's see if I could do this little area over here. Yeah, you know, it's doing it. very little again this is a weird piece of wood you know um, I'm not used to wood in Florida but it's doing it you take off the bark as you can see and I have no doubt that this is uh, you know functional for a ferro rod something else I got to get over here while I'm here let's get a, a ferro rod just to do some testing but uh, you know not a bad little pocket knife for use for hiking outdoors uh, hunting, you know, it's, it's it's got the drop point blade for hunting. Um, you know, if you like this style of knife, you know, this is this is great. All right, I just picked up this piece of wood off the floor. Let me see, see if I can make a little point with this. Yeah, it's doing it. I mean, it is definitely cutting it, cutting it off. No problem. Sorry for the camera shaking troops, but I'm on a bench. You know, like a picnic table type deal and everything is is all connected together so the camera is definitely getting affected but you know for whittling and close-up work you know it's definitely doable I'm using my thumb right now to dig into the wood there you go nice yeah, it's working out. Let's 
see? Let's get that tip sharp a little bit. Again, weird wood here in Florida. I, don't, I have no idea what this is, but it's almost seems like it's got like this soft center. But if you're making a tent stake, this will still be good to, you know, to pound into the into the soft ground or whatever to you know help you with uh tents or what or what have you hammock you know yeah knife's sharp man you know um let's see if i could make a notch without breaking this thing One thing is this wood is kind of hard on the outer layer, you know, but if you take a look, that, that inner layer seems to be soft, but the outer layer is kind of, kind of tough. However, we are looking good here. All right. And again, you could use your thumb. As an example, again, I'm no expert. I'm no bushcraft expert, ladies and gentlemen, but I do watch, you know, other experts do this kind of stuff. And, and I'm just giving you an idea of how, you know, the knife may function out in the field. So. Nice. Not the best notch, but it did it. You know, it did it did the job. It, it it does the work. You know, and if you've got nothing else, or if this is something that you like and you wanted to get, you know, even as a collector, now you know its capabilities. So, and it's completely and totally functional. You know, except for the you know, with the exception of this. This seatbelt cutter, man, I just, I wonder why they do this, you know. Um, I think this knife would be great without it, you know. It's already great, but without it, I think it would be even better. But I like the idea of the, um, sorry, I like the idea of the uh, window breaker, you know. Always a good, uh, possible good option to have in case, you know, you've seen those videos where there's... Uh, once again, I thought I had the uh, phone on do not disturb, but I guess not. So now I shut it off. So hopefully we won't have any more interruptions, but I like the idea, you know, of the window breaker. I think it's good for an emergency tool. You know, again, you've seen people where, you know, crazy people leave their kids or their animals inside the car. You know, you whip out your knife and you break the window if you're a good Samaritan and save the day, etc. But all in all, I mean, you've seen what this knife is capable of. Definitely good for a work environment, camping environment, hunting environment, um, hiking environment, you know. Some some people in the military might find this useful, you know. But I think, all in all, a pretty decent knife. Legionnaires, absolutely a capable folder. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I did all this work over here. This would be great for work, great for camping, great for hiking. You know, somebody in the military could use this. If you, if you like this kind of design and knife or you're just looking for function, it did the job. You know, all except for that uh, uh, seatbelt cutter. Uh, other than that, the knife did everything that a regular fo you know, folding knife could do. Now, I've got one more medium I want to try, and uh, it's this real thick plastic. So let's give it a, a quick go. All right. It's a little short on my hands, but there we go. I did cut it. All right, cool. It took a little while. Again, it's short. It's a short piece that I had, but it did the job. Let's add it to the pile. Nothing wrong with this knife. This knife is definitely a fine knife 
for anybody to own. All right, Troops, Legionnaires, and New Recruits, as always, appreciate you guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Really appreciate you guys and gals. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans in active military that once they get out of the service, they do face a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, one of these challenges is suicide. So at the end of this video, pause on the slides. Read the phone numbers. Read the heartfelt message from Martin Miller, who's one of your own. And please seek the help that you all have earned and deserved. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. At the ready, troops. Hold the line. Take care. Legionnaires!